Howdy everyone, Warstarsa here, and today I'd like to talk a bit about Payday. You know, the one FPS game that started off just robbing banks, cooking meth and such, and has since gone as far as throwing aliens into the mix? Yeah, that one. I first started playing Payday back in the Payday the Heist days. I liked the game, but I didn't, really didn't play it a lot. Then I got to play pay the Payday 2 beta one day before it released, and I immediately fell in love with everything about it. And up to this day, it has remained my favorite game of all time. Between the characters, the gameplay, the music, which god, the music was so amazing. Back when I just had a PSP to listen to music on, I downloaded the soundtrack and put it on there. And every time a new heist came out, I always downloaded the track to put on my current music device. Which I still even did like up to just recently. After it came out, I bought it on the Xbox 360, which, yes I know, it's the worst version, but at the time I still liked it, even though back then I didn't have Xbox Live and that made it really difficult and sucky. But then I ended up getting it on the PC around the time of the Armored Transport DLC. But back when I still played on the Xbox 360, I remember wishing that old Hoxton, as Hawks was known back at the time, would come back. Houston was my favorite at the time, but then I had gone back to play Pay to the Heist a few times and I really wanted Hoxton back, like, I really wanted him back. I remember the easter eggs that would occasionally happen at the beginning of a heist, or upon completing it, in which Houston would say a line in Hoxton's voice, and I always got so excited hearing it. Then when every new heist came out, I got more and more excited than I ever have for anything else gaming related. And when we had our first DLC character announced, John Wick, in my head, I was like thinking, no way, how the hell are they going to add an additional character into a game that's programmed to have a default set of four? And when he finally came out, even though I didn't really like the character at the time, I still loved it. I remember when I converted all of the game's files into playable audio files, and, and when I found what I thought was a cancelled heist only to find out that it was the election day heist before it was even announced. And when that happened, I was just like, oh my god, I just found something like that. I remember each time seeing more and more mentions of Hoxton returning, how excited I would get for each further heist release. And when I watched a stream of Hoxton Breakout the day it released before I actually got a chance to play it, it instantly became my favorite heist and I've probably played it more than any other heist even to this date. Around this time, I had quite a bit of friends and I basically turned every single one of them from people who had no interest in the game into massive Payday fans in which almost every night they'd get together, get on Skype, and play heists together. I was basically known as the rabid Payday fan at the time. This lasted for years for me. This game hasn't always been a golden egg on a pedestal though. It's had its downs, which I've stuck through all of it. There was the issue first with how much DLC there was for the game and how expensive it was to get it all, which for me it never bothered me as I kept up with all DLC releases, at least within a week or two of them coming out, at the latest I'd wait until it would go on sale and then I'd buy it right away then. Sadly that isn't the case right now, as since it's been so long since I played the PC version, I still don't even have the Scarface heist. Anyway, that wasn't even the worst issue. For a lot of players, the one thing that turned it into a shitstorm, and how could you blame anyone, this thing basically ruins any game that it's in, microtransactions. During Crime Fest, a time where the community was supposed to be given things, Overkill opened things up by introducing safes which at the time you had to pay to open them with drills. They contained skins, some of which actually gave us a boost to stats. This caused many veteran players to leave. Of course I stuck around though, though I never bought a single drill. I still have some of those safes in, in my inventory as a show that I will never buy into microtransactions regardless of how much I love a game or not. Especially if it's to open a damn crate or loot box. Of course, from the power of the community outrage, Overkill eventually made all future safes free to open. The old ones still cost money, but that's why they just sit in my inventory to this day. Either way, 
At first I was very against skins because Overkill was just blatantly copycatting Valve with CSGO, but eventually I just found it as a way to customize my favorite guns. Hell, skins actually made me start maining different weapons than I used to, some of which weren't even popular or the most powerful. In the ways I made use of them, I always outperformed everyone else in the lobbies. I even made it where I never had to touch my primary weapon ever again, always maining the secondary. From there, I stopped carrying ammo bags and never even needed to use them when they were available. I switched to medic bags and eventually I didn't even need those as I opted to go from armor builds to dodge with swan song and first aid. And even though I was going dodge, I still was able to bring some heavy hitting weapons and like make a combination of multiple different builds. It was like the ultimate freaking build. But when it came to Payday 2, I didn't just stop at the PC version. Of course, as I mentioned, I started off on the PC beta, then I went to the 360 and then finally to the PC. But it didn't stop there for me. I loved this game enough that I bought a copy for the Xbox One before I even got an Xbox One months in advance because I wanted to be able to play it the moment I got one, which I did. Then about a year ago, I even bought a cheap used PS3 copy because I wanted to complete my collection. And of course, then the Switch version came out, which was the original reason I wanted a Switch back when it was announced. And despite getting pissed from learning shortly before launch that it was going to be even further behind than the other consoles, and it still is because it hasn't seen a single damn update, I was a day one buyer, and I still loved the game. It is currently my most played Switch game. So as you probably know if you're a Payday player, Payday 2 finally came to its conclusion a bit over a month ago with the White House heist and its ending cutscenes. At that time, I had been off the PC for about a year now, but I still somewhat kept up with the new heist releases. I remember one night when I was getting ready for bed and loaded up uh, YouTube on my TV to watch a few videos when I saw the video titled Payday 2 The End on the front of recommendations. Of course, I just had to click it when I saw it. And after watching, I was like, holy shit, the thing that I've been the biggest fan of for over five years now is finally over. And it ended badly for the gang too. Then of course the easter egg was found and the ending 2 cutscene was uploaded later. But even with that, I still find it hard to believe that the game that I've been following for over 5 years now, the game that's built friendships for me, the game that I played all through my high school years and even into college, is finally concluded. I'm happy that Overkill at least ended the game on a high note rather than letting it go stale, but I'm only sad that I never actually got to buy any merchandise for it. I mean, I did find a pin a few years ago that had the Payday 2 logo on it, which I bought without hesitation, but I always wanted to get myself a Payday mask, more so like a Houston one or a custom-made Hoxton one. Maybe someday though. But with Payday 2 concluded, there's only one thing heisters can look forward to now. Payday 3. I'll admit, ever since it was leaked that they were going to make a Payday 3, I was really excited, of course, because everything Payday 2 basically excited me. But after the way the company is gone, especially with the recent release, Overkill's The Walking Dead flopping, I can't even say that I'm not sure if Payday 3 will be good because I don't even know if I can say that Payday 3 will even happen. If The Walking Dead didn't sell well enough, who knows if Overkill will even follow through with making Payday 3. I mean at this point it looks like if they don't make it then they won't really even be making anything else again because Payday 2 was basically the one thing that held the company up for all these years. So I don't know. but. What I do know is, whether Payday 3 releases or not, whether it's great or it sucks, Payday 2 will always be that one gem to me that has given me countless memories and just can't be surpassed. I can say now, especially with it being the end, that my Payday craze can finally come to a rest, but I'll always remember Payday 2 as that one game that gave me years of enjoyment. I'm not sure how much I will continue to play Payday 2 after this as I've already maxed out, but it'll continue to live on as my favorite game. I'm not sure if there will be more minor content added to the future, but if there is, I wish my fellow heisters a good time with it. 
For me, I'll be moving on to other games though. But before that, I'd like to thank everyone who I've played with that made it such an awesome time. Especially friends like Cyber, Ark, Corvo, Morex, Shadow King, and everyone else that joined me for the Payday Craze. And a special thanks to Sensei, who used to stay up and watch me play on the Xbox 360 on Skype using my frickin' Vita camera. This has been Worst RC on the Game Clips channel, and I'm out. You'll always be with me. Bane. And you'll always be my brother.